And welcome back to Greedfall! As we can see, we are back looking for the rebels. I crafted what we need to blow through the wall we could not in the other episode. So, I also crafted some ammo while we're at it. Just so y'all are up to date on where we stand. I did not do anything story relevant. That's all for the let's play. So let's go and see what these guys want from us. Battle. Okay. Loot some stuff because crafting consumes quite a bit. Mm, yeah, we could probably use this. And what do we have? Mm, maybe. Just gonna want to run out of our burden again anytime soon. Let's hop on over and look for these rubbles. Should not have any more obstacles. Here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men called themselves Donea Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Okay, we'll do. Well, we try. Have a chat with them. Where are they? I'm gonna add right now. Let's look. What do we have? Oh, hello, guys. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And whom wait you be? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I have come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaixe. But villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. I share your anger against the Lions, and I also hope to find our captured brothers. But the Rinaixe also use floating houses to transport things. Your attacks were useless. Listen. If what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances. As long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready. And soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Exregal will march together, and we will free our brothers. Can you mm. guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Hmm. Wish I could join, join the attack. Hmm. 
Hmm. I really have no interest in warning Hikmet though about his attack. Like, kinda just wants the natives to win here. So, let's see if we can get around that warning. And we look for a different quest to follow. Yeah, hmm. Okay, well we can go to Vasco. Talk about a loose Justinius. Hmm. Let's go here first. Now we gotta go all the way back out here. Whichever way that might be. Now in the white track. Hope so. Oh, nice. And flash. Crappy, crappy stuff in here. Hmm. Useful stuff here. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Elias. Oh, oh. Dodonea ex regal fought, as my mother did, to free our people from the Elias. Oh, no. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my plan. I have to admit, the story of this attack is concerned. We should talk to Captain Ray about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will not be running smoothly. Thanks, Petrus. Whoa, I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. No, 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 no. Wow. I think it's tough. And most fight against most humans. Let's go back to the camp. Jump on over to the next quest. Here we are. And this is all the way down here. Hmm, don't know which one is better here. But we shall see. Let's go, we take care of you later. Don't do worry. Oh. Where are we at? Mm-hmm. All the way up here. Travel to a different location from here. Okay, that's fine. marker here, so we can go around here. I think that's gonna be it. Yes. That should be it. Point reflection. Wait, can we go the other way somehow? We can. Then let's go straight up here. Maybe like this. And let's go. So, oh, how have you all handling, been handling this quarantine, I wonder? How oh, we all have been staying inside, as we are told, and as we should. Oh, And 
I think it's more combat. I hear more combat sound. Uh oh. Oh yeah, down here. Down here. Uh, skill shrine. That's really cool. Let's pick that up. Thank you very much. Well. Needed. Mix of match damage. Okay. And then we get our bomb. Need three points for this, so we do have one point actually remaining. Forgot about that, huh? But we save up two more points for this. Can get it. Let's sneak past this. Finger, I don't wanna fight. Wait, uh, this is gloomy lair. We even wanna go in there. Mm, let's go look for this question mark. Maybe in white you protect me in this battle. Oh dear. Kind of fast and move on one. Here, it's crazy. This should be a camp, I think. We shall see in a bit. Uh, right here, yep. There it is. Camp time. And now we go on up there. To the next map, avoiding these things. Yes, yeah, seems they're a little bit tougher than the regular stuff. What's up there? Oh, another skill sh altar. That's really cool. Yeah. Let's pick that up, of course. And then we already have two skill points towards our bomb skill. Let's keep this one. Hello, Theora. Come with me. Time to go! I believe this area. And from here we can go to this place. So. Teared up the Blacklands. Well, where are we gonna go? This is another quest. Okay, this is all the quests we got here. No, no, this is quest we have elsewhere. And that's where we, we need to go. Probably gonna go around here. Or let's follow that. Probably gonna fi find a couple of camps again. Hmm, that looks nice. Oh, so oh, too soon. No, 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 I 
kind of the right way now. Yes, cool. Okay, that's where we're going. Let's see. There's at least one more companion, by the way. We are going to get. the times but we managed and that's where magic comes in handy when, because when you use magic you got a um, skill that stops enemies from moving for a few seconds which can come in extremely handy so let's go down here we got our camp and I guess that's a notice board. Hmm. Contract the Traveler's Grave. I appeal to the better nature of travelers on the Midville V Road. My brother decided to explore it and never returned. If any of you were to find his body, please dig a grave for him so that he may rest in peace. You must still have his coin purse on him. I would be happy to leave it to you as a reward. An astounding. Destroy the York Land's nest. Very aggressive Yorglands have built a nest north of Eden. Be cautious if you need to follow the road to the northeast into the bushes. A reward will be offered to whoever destroys this nest. We can supply you with wraps. Okay. Place. My mother told me about this place. Huh. She said that the village was devoured by the houses of the sons. How could their chief accept this? All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. Yeah, let's do this. But I don't like this. Look what they're doing! They probably pretty much tore the natives out almost entirely, you can tell. They're squeezing the natives in like this with their different housing style. They should adapt to this housing style, the natives. But they are not. Hello, well, let's go. What does he have to say? Welcome to Eden. The lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Eustinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them, and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village, with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. They are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. Heretics. I am well a religious not I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Yeah, please don't. I wonder how my people could accept the priest settling in their home like this. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, Maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Now let's go and investigate. What's the theological? Yes, okay. Do you all got to say... Speak to me. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. 
The Mother Cardinal told me that this village had been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Yeah, you're the su superstitious ones, but okay. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The Islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village, finally accepted our presence, things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. I talked to Father Justinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. Yeah, I'm only Thank gonna you. do that. I will let you work. On a certain conditions. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the Islanders. We must bring the light to this island. You, please no. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius, you are a member of the Ordo Luminous. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere the light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. Yeah, neither do we. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about St. Matthias. They were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives called the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. 
I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. Ah, oh, the religious con uh, conversion here going on. Brainwashing. I don't like it at all. Well, let's see what he got to say about these damn tablets. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter, anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Mm -hmm. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. Justified in being the evil shit that they are. Let's see where are we going next? Okay, I'll talk to him again. Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. Uh, how about learning from them instead of brainwashing them, but that's just me. Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. <laughs> we saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So, we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. I don't see a lot of peace and harmony in driving out the warrior natives, but okay. And how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent the missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedluk, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about Saint Matthias. That helped to convince them. There are no Onol Manawi and no warriors here either. 
Did they all leave? Perfect harmony takes time, my child. I have no doubt that one day we will manage to convince your kind to convert. But in the meantime, we must settle for the miracle of great coexistence that this place already represents. Nobody thought we could live side by side with your people. And yet. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Really don't like these villages, not us. But okay, let's just pretend that we are kind of allies for the time being. Wait, where am I going? Oh no, am I stuck again? Am I lost again? Probably. Play is, is so big. So like, what the hell? There you are. Move your butt. Let's hop on over to the other spot. Down. The way down here. And. Yeah. Up here. The story of Eden. Find out more. That's you. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well. Oh, he was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logayan Blau. Oh, he did not know that. What do you want from me? I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme, and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions. Talking about the Lloyd, and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them. They were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. That's good. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Deirdre, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called the soul lasser, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace, and the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything. Because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the worst tyrant. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaixe to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men. Perhaps wiser than they are. Ah, getting... Pretending to be brainwashed. To like Not so a, many others. Uh, I knew way that to the do story this. would be more complex than we've been told. The priests separated this village into two parts. The exiles must be broken-hearted. Having left their clan behind, 
Had they been wiser and accepted their new neighbors, they'd never have been forced to leave. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. Oh, Petros, don't you dare side with Salim here. Now we need to go back over there, I guess. Whatever the hell is down here. Yep, in there. Got a question. More people, I guess. Hmm. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break in. This priest, Virgil, said that the night was calm. So calm that he probably fell asleep. So the thieves only had to take the key from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. You think that the one who told them is in this village? We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles and enough about the researchers to inform them. Oh, let's... Go all the way back. A lot of running around here. Go back to the chief and so on and so forth. Right. Now I'm going all the one way again. Typical. Let's go down here. Oh, nice. Uh, we brought your dirty gloves. Could they not leave that at home? Oh. Talk to the chief real quick. And uh, see if we can find those mysterious allies. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? Oh yes, I do. I think I know who stole the tablets. Really? I believe those who were exiled from your village seek vengeance because the missionaries forced them to leave. They must have taken the tablets with the help of someone else who stayed here. You may be right, but you may also be wrong. Hmm. You do well to tell me what you know. Once the priests have reached the same conclusions as I have, how do you think they will interrogate you? You're probably right. The Inquisitors would come back, and my people would suffer. I do not want to break the peace that I did all I could to make. I think the name of the woman you are looking for is Vindwal. She helps the priests who seek the old sage. If she's helping the priests, why would she betray them now? Her son is one of the warriors who had to leave the village. He is filled with anger and fury. If you go talk to her, please do not hurt her. We won't. She is but a mother who acted according to her son's wishes. I have no intention of hurting her. But things may not be so simple when it comes to her son. Oh. I have to go. Loikes. Now we know a little bit more about this. And we loot his stuff because, yeah. Looting is what we do. And now let's make a run for it again. We are going all the way up here. And there she is. Let's have a chat about her son. Greetings. Are you Vindwa? Bird tier to mud. Yes, that is me. What do you want? Listen, I know you helped the exiles to steal the tablets of St. Matthias. No, this is not true. It wasn't me. There's no point in denying it. I know you did it for your son who had to leave the village. If you know that, then you know that I don't have the tablets. So what do you want from me? The only means of alleviating the situation with Teleme is to give the priests their tablets back. 
So if you do not want your son to suffer their wrath, it would be best if I could retrieve them discreetly. Uh, Bran and the rest of the Exoils are hiding in the woods, beyond the Stone Circle. If you want to take the tablets away from them without being seen, do not take the part on the left. It is riddled with traps. And please, do not hurt my son. Don't worry, we will not hurt your son at all. I'd rather hurt than position. So, where are we going? All the way up here? Yeah. That's going to be... Quite something, let's see. There are more beasts. Do we have to go through the beasts? No, we gotta go all the way up here, I guess. But we do this next time, and I—that's uh, when I see you. Until then, bye.